guys, it's winning down here today. Yep, we're in Hurricane Shoals Park in Maysville, Maysville? Maysville, Georgia. Maysville, Georgia. Yep, where there's a mill in the background that we might hear about a little bit later on. And some shoals. And some shoals. And some historic stuff. And some old buildings built in the 1800s. Yeah. Hence the historic stuff. Historic stuff. Historic stuff. Also, some great The Historical Heritage Village is a collection of random historical buildings that have been moved from other locations. The goal is to have a safe place to preserve the historical structures. They plan to keep adding more, too. The covered bridge was constructed in 1872 and is 127 feet long. The park area used to be a camping ground for Creek and Cherokee Native Americans and was called Yam Trahuchi or Hurricane Shoals. Permanent settlement of the area began in the 1780s, which included a fort, a schoolhouse, a grist mill, and a Baptist church. The park is over 71 acres, the main attraction being the granite shoals of the North Oconee River. The water wheelie thing. That is the technical description that Lynn has assigned it. I'll hand out that from you about it. Then you are not paying attention. <laughs> Cut the log cabin. Read that real quick. Cute little wood bear, red building. And then here's what's more commonly referred to, I believe, as a mill. Been a uh, Hurricane Shoals Park. The Hurricane Shoals Grist Mill was constructed in 1981 by the same gentleman that built the amphitheater and was dedicated to Colonel Turtle Smith in 1984. In 2001, Tumbling Waters commissioned by Anthony Bennett to build a new water well. The mill is maintained by the Garrison family and is completely operational. Corn is ground into cornmeal and is for sale during the Art in the Park Festival each year.